Hello and welcome to level 6. It's Mr. Omar again. So what we're going to do today is we are actually going to ask the user to put in some information and we're going to make that information the value of the variable. Up until now we've been writing the value of the variables in the program. So for instance I've been telling it in the code that my name is Mr. Omara. But in this next program we're going to ask the user what their name is and they can type in their name and then the program will use that. So first thing as you can see is just very standard text window, write line, and ask the question so that the user knows that they're being asked to put in some information. And this is how we collect the information from the user. Again, it's a text window command, and it's called read. And when you hit enter, it will put open and close brackets on the end. So now what it's going to do is it's going to ask the user for information, and it's going to save that information as the variable. Oh, actually, it's not going to save it as anything. Name equals... So, it's going to save it as the variable name. So, name equals text window read. And I'll show you how this works. So, what is your name? My name is Mr. Omara. And I hit return. And the program's finished. So, it's now saved it as variable. But let's do a little bit more with it so that we can actually see that information. So, it's asked me for my name. And now, it's going to say text window because I'm going to write on the screen again. Write line... Hello, now that's literal text, you'll notice I've put that in inverted commas, plus name, and close the brackets. So, just step by step, it's going to say to me, hello, what is your name? I'm going to tell it my name, and it's going to save it as a variable called name, and then it's going to print on the screen, hello, plus name. So, I'm going to run it, hello, what is your name? Well, I'll be my greyhound for the sake of this, so my name is Billy. Hello, Billy. So, now it is your time to code, and here's what I'm going to get you to do. Is you are going to build on this program and you are going to ask the user a second question. And the second question you're going to ask them is, where do you live? So, you're going to have to have a line where you put on the screen the text, where do you live? Then, you're going to collect that as a variable called place. And then you're going to have a third line of new code that's going to write on the screen, you live in, which is literal text, so inverted commas around that, you live in, plus place, which is that variable that the user's answered. Now, this is what your program's going to look like when it runs. So, what is your name? Okay, my name is Cosmo this time. And where do you live? I live in Geelong. You live in Geelong. So when your program runs, that's what it's going to look like.